What's up guys, today I'll be teaching you 5 exercises you can do on parallel bars. In my opinion, the best exercises you can do to work out your entire body. So if you do these exercises, you can build a full body workout. Let's get started. So the first exercise I'll be teaching you is the dip, which looks like this. So if you want to do it, the right technique for it is that you keep your body, your arms full extended when you're up, your shoulders are depressed, so you're doing it like this, but you're like this, and that you just bend your elbows. You don't want to go like here or anything, you just bend your elbows. Go the farther and the lower your mobility allows you to. Um, make sure you warm up if you're not used to this exercise because it can hurt your elbows and your wrist a bit, but um, the more you work out, the less warm up you need. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really need it because I work out every single day with dips. Like, every single day I work out my pushing exercises, I do it with dips, so. Yeah, you don't need much. Um, keep your strong, keep your keep your core strong, so it stabilizes you, and in that way you're also working on your abs, your lower back, and I'll be showing you three variations of the dip. The first one is the regular one, where you're working on your chest and your triceps. Again, looks like this. you can see I'm going full range of motion. Uh, the second variation is the leaning forward dip, which is like you go here and then go. Um, this one is much harder than the, the regular one. And you'll be focusing on triceps and shoulders. As as well as in your core, stabilizing muscles. And uh, for doing this one, make sure you warm up your wrists because you will need some wrist flexibility. You will need to be like here. So make sure you, you can hold yourself like this. And then you're just going down here and lifting yourself up the farther you can from your hips. The third variation will focus more on your lower chest and looks like this. <laughs> so basically you want to do like a bad L sit. L sit for those of you who don't know it, it's this. So you don't want to do like perfect, you want to do like leaning back and then doing the the dip right here and I will be focusing more on your lower chest muscles. The next exercise that I highly recommend in portable bars to do in every single workout is the leg raises to else it because you cannot go farther unless your flexibility allows you to. So it will be like this. To do this exercise correctly, you want to control the part of the movement where you're going back downwards. So your legs just not go like swinging around and helping you to lift your legs. If you want to involve your core and your abs, your hip flexors, as most as possible, you're going to control the way down. What I do, what I like to do is not going to the vertical, but to look to the basis of the parallel bars and stop my feet right there. So it won't be like stop here, but stop here. And that way I gotta make sure that my legs, my legs don't swing all the way around. This is a great exercise to work your abs and all your 
stability and core muscles. The third exercise I love on parallel bars is the tuck plunge push up. It looks like this. So again, this exercise works out your triceps, your shoulder and your chest, apart from many other muscles. Um, I'm not going to get into plenty of detail with this one because it's really hard to explain uh, the whole technique shortly, but basically you want to try to get your chest like all the way in. So your upper back arches like this, then you want to have your posterior pelvic tilt which would be like this. This would be anterior pelvic tilt, this would be posterior. So you wanna have it at the same time that you do this and then just try to go full range of motion. This exercise is great if you wanna get the planche, which looks like this. So the fourth exercise I'll be teaching you is the Australian pull up which looks like this. This will be a great exercise for this if you're hooking at pull up yet or do not have a high bar. So this exercise you have to have a prone grip which is like this, your palms are facing in front of you, not to you. This will be supine grip and those will look like this. That one is good for biceps, but in this one I'll be teaching you the prone grip one, which is called the Australian pull-up. So to this point we have worked out our pushing and pulling exercises, our core, and now we're just missing one part of the body um, so we can build a full body routine and that is our legs So with the parallel bars we do We are able to work out our legs and I'll be showing you how So yeah, that was the last exercise we can do with parallel bars. It is the assisted uh, pistol squat with this, we're going to be able to work our way up to the pistol squat. Um, my right leg has pretty bad ankle flexibility, so it's kind of hard for me to do it with my right, but I can do it pretty well with my left. I have to work on that. So these are five different exercises. You can build a full routine workout with just your body weight with. with. Um, you can substitute the parallel bars for a couple of chairs which I'm sure you will have a home somewhere if you don't see it just look under the couch or something like that there should be some chairs so having said this and having taught you the right technique for each exercise you will be able now to work your full body out just at home as I just did right now Make sure you drop a like, make sure you subscribe if you like the content, make sure you comment down below, it really helps me a lot. And well, I'm leaving you my social media, my uh, company, my clothing brand, which will be opening soon. That's all in the description. Um, leave me down below in the comments which video you want to see next, what you think of this video. I know there's a lot to get better at and I really would love to have feedback from you so um you can just tell me where should I work on to get better videos so thank you so much for seeing this video I hope you liked it I hope you enjoyed it and well see you on the next